You guys, I have just been super, super obsessed with color coordinating, organization, cleansing, purging, all of that good stuff. And it just, it's, it's so good. It's so relaxing in the midst of chaos. What's up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning into this video. As you can see by the title, it's gonna be a little different um, than what you see on my channel if you already follow me. If you don't, I am not. Hey, this really isn't what I show, Abby. Um, but y'all, I have been super, super just all in, dive head first um, into like home organization, right? Um, taking it back a little bit, it kind of started back, was this like, beginning mid pen well 2020 mid 2020 so there was a show on netflix called the home edit and it's pretty much um these two women clea and joanna and they go into like people's homes or people's spaces and they pretty much make it look like a rainbow slash organized slash clear blue skies slash you could okay maybe not that because i was trying to be like maybe it's clean but whatever but it's just it just looks so good after like the transformation sometimes it looks so like wow like so simple right but those organization skills make such a big difference and i really i'm i wouldn't say i'm like the most tidiest person right but i do enjoy um clean spaces and obviously I've had moments in my life where it's like I could tell where if the space wasn't clean or certain things weren't situated right it affected my mood and I'm like oh that's trash like so if I can kind of maintain that kind of lifestyle or maintain or grab tips that I can implement in different areas of my life cool and why not do it in the home why not shameless plug no this is not sponsored but if you haven't seen it check it out on Netflix it's still on there um, but this particular moment kind of started from re-watching re it. Um, I started watching it like last week again, and I was just like back inspired and wanted to kind of implement some things around the house and try to put it to use. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing a transformation, yeah, um, of the fridge. So I'm super excited to show you all um, it's not step by step. I'm gonna be vlogging the process a little bit, showing some clips of me kind of like purging and clearing out some stuff uh, from the fridge. I would have to say the freezer, new freezer, was like the most challenging part, but not really. But I'm gonna let y'all watch it. So without further ado, let's jump into that video and get going. So one thing Clea and Joanna mentioned was creating zones and if some spaces or things don't have a container to put them back in, you know, things will kind of get back to being the same and get cluttered again. So I made a list going to the store and I wanted to kind of stick with that. Um, I wanted to get some organizers for like drinks and stuff like that, maybe a few fruit options to go into the fridge i even found some stuff to kind of organize the spoons and knives and forks so i just went ahead and got that it was super cheap so i was like why not so i went to target to check out their organizers and i must say i had to contain myself because i was on a budget but they literally have like everything and i haven't experienced a container store like the container store yet so that's gonna be for a special day, but not today. I also went to Dollar Tree to check out some of their storage, and I liked it, however, maybe for like laundry, but not necessarily for me, for the fridge. Um, and I also went to the Five Below store. Awesome stuff as well. They have really pretty bins in there, um, but I did actually get one bin from there, and you'll see how I utilize that in the fridge. refrigerator um, I'm going to take what do they say everything out and then um, okay we're gonna get to it when we get to it but um yeah fun soups excited and I'm gonna take all this lovely stuff out lay it out 
collect, wipe, just do another wipe down on the um, on the shelves and um, yeah and then get everything kind of like grouped and organized and then pull together the uh, containers that I got today so let's do that some skinnier or like some of these to put in there um, even where I have like the cheeses and like the turkey sausage and stuff like that I think like a small one just to kind of like keep things from like moving around but it's functional right now I just know like how some of this stuff is it could get messed up pretty easy and I'm gonna just stay on top of fixing it so like for example with the drinks up here like i could probably get like another thing that i got for the sprites um and i yeah and just kind of like compacting some stuff um yeah i do i, I really do wish this fridge is a little bit wider but we are working with what we got uh eggs will go right there got some fruit that could probably be interchangeable and then right here i try to do a little something it, it's better what I try to do was even though this jelly is right here and it's it still is a spread I try to do like sandwiches quick things quick things like okay I got some fries or I want to toss something in something that could kind of go a little bit right here because I got my wash washire uh, my soy sauce my ketchup no I'm so sorry you got it wrong this stuff has like a little kick to it or something this is more of the like spreads and dips and stuff like that because i got my ranch my ketchup my mustard spicy ranch soy red uh red and white vinegar and then down here and kind of like some stuff that i couldn't really organize a little bit i want to see what i can do with this now the next thing i'm gonna do is see about this freezer no freezer mm -hmm. The freezer is the is the next thing. If she if she can overcome, yeah. So I'm saving this because I made because I made this. Because I think the freezer is something that is like we need to see what we have because things are like perfect. Like oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I wish I had another container, but this is literally perfect. Literally. So a lot of stuff that was in the freezer was old. Like it was old, y'all, like freezer burn old. It was a lot. So from me cleaning and clearing out, we could like really see what we need to get from the store and you know, not be wasteful. Because as you can see, it was full in that freezer and there was no, there was like nowhere to put new stuff at. And we definitely want to be able to like go get groceries and have enough space, see what we need and all that good stuff. So definitely cleansing this space out is, is just awesome. Like it's, it's very refreshing.
So guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Um, I don't know, like I'm feeling led to just do random things on this channel, things that I really enjoy, that spark joy for me creatively, creativity, creatively. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the next project that I'm gonna be working on though in the house uh, will be either the laundry room and or just depending on what's gonna happen first, the spice pantry cabinet. That is a hot dog mess. Hot dog mess. So of course I'm gonna document that for you guys so you can see that as well. Don't know when that's gonna happen. Hopefully I can get that done in February. So you guys can see that. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.